Good afternoon, Outdoor Office family. We're going to be back at it again. It's almost Christmas time. Uh, my wife has been on me probably two years to make this. Yeah, uh, one year. One year, you think? I think it's been longer than that. Mm, about but one and a half years. Me and the boys are going to try to make our first piece of furniture. So... Uh, she a said she piece. did not care what kind of wood it was made out of. She just wants something. Our first piece of furniture. Yeah, for the house. Oh. So, kind of give you an overview. But Obviously, we made furniture. The furniture top is going to have a pop up that Ohio thing. Son, I've done that with a jigsaw. This is going to be a little oh. bit more in depth. Have eight by eight compartments. They're going to be eight inches uh, deep. Uh, for keys, wallets, if you want to put your hat up there, uh, 78 inches total length, 44 inches wide. It's going to sit over here by the door uh, where jackets are hung up right now. Uh, I'm going to put some hooks in here. I don't know if I want to do like some sideboards in here that run up. And around the corners and stuff I haven't made up my mind yet mm -hmm. to just kind of frame it in or something uh, that could potentially be later but we're gonna take with the jigsaw this is gonna be one solid piece here two of them side and side then I'm gonna have a solid back 44 inches wide top then the bottom side of the top and then the your actual seat that you'll sit on and then the bottom and then uh, the shoes and then the shoe compartments uh, two shoe compartments for each one I think what I'm going to do here is right on the bottom I'm going to have a runner all the way across and around what is that? make it about one inch tall to get it up off the floor um, mm. so it's not setting flat down on the floor uh, so we'll have a one inch strip, maybe a two inch strip all the way around. Then underneath where the shelves are at, have strips running back uh, for support. But here it is. This is my first piece of furniture I'm going to try to attempt to make with for basic house. for the house with basic tools: table saw, circular saw, jigsaw. But and then oh, we've already made a piece of furniture no 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 joints no joiner no biscuits no router for the shelves to slide into anything like this so fingers crossed this is going to look halfway decent i'm going to need three sheets um we'll see how it turns out so let's go to lowe's and get our material my helpers to the project right here Isaac what? why are you being so lazy what? let's get this thing cut up get my pieces cut got my old trusty working buddies and our craftsman tennis table saw so what we done the back piece we had it cut a half inch long so we trimmed the top and then we trimmed down the side to get us our dimensions we wanted now these are our two side pieces we face the pieces out and now what we're going to do this is going to come out eight inches at the top which is up there and then we're going to come out 20 inches from the bottom up 20 inches then we're going to come in eight so that's where we're going to kind of put our we're going to kind of put our curve in there and this is going to end up at eight up there so i'll show you how we're going to do that in when we get right all right our homemade radius tool with a string we're going to pin this into place and then we are going to draw our radius from this point to here up to there <laughs> Good. And once we get it going, we'll show you what it looks like when we get it cut out. What do you think, boys? Coming along all right? Yep. Pretty decent? Nope, I have a 
good. Dang, last time you went from here around, you need to start from the middle. And wherever, wherever it ends, is that where a radius needs to be? All right. Well, be right back. Safety first. Oh. Right fit that well. Hey, at least he's wearing his glasses. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and get this radius cut out, and then we'll cut off this top edge, and our side pieces are going to be done. So here we go. Radius is cut. Hang in there with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> you ready? All right, bud. Turn it on. Lay it flat down and start sanding. Sand it good. Okay. Caleb's getting it done now. Don't hold it in one place too long, bud. Don't hold it in one place too long. Hey, that's how they learn. That's how they learn. Okay. We're screwing. Already got this side done. Screwing this side oh. now. Too close, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. I worked my butt off pushing that thing out. Some mean deck screws, I can tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, they won't go in. They won't go into this wood. See that? Take like thousand years. Whoa, 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 bud. <laughs> Alright, give me one more. Last one. Woody. Mean. You want to show them the front view as I get this last one in here, Isaac? Look. Caleb, I need you to push out at the bottom. Okay. Bottom? Push out at the bottom, right down here. So Not this is the, the front. Right there. Good, good, good. Look at these deck screws. They're mean. They're shiny. All right, line. let's oh. see here. All right, visualize this with us. Top, obviously. Bottom seat is going to be on there. So we're going to 
Get back at it, boys. I'm going to try to get this mamma jamma framed in tonight. What do y'all think? Can we do it? Hey, listen. Yeah, that's right. Yep, that's right. We've, All right. We've already got that much done in some time. Yes, we did. Let's keep going. Cut it off. Well, we were um, kind of just worried about the bottom, but then look what we found out. That we could actually put the bottom inside oh, instead of outside. Yeah, because if we put it outside, it would be like it. All right. All right. These see nasty this? screws. Let's come over here. I need somebody to get on the inside and push it in, okay? Yep. Push it out. Push it out. Push. Up top. Up here. Tell me when you're pushing. Okay. There we go. Good job. And... Oh. Here's your thing. Since this is going to be the back, I'm not too worried about countersinking the holes. Yeah, when we... Dad will... Sh we'll show him how to countersink the thing. Dad, do you want me to push out? Yes, please. Very top corner. Push as hard as you can. All right. Caleb was giving you some close-up action there. Yeah. All right, let's get this top done. All right, we've got the seat section in. We got to put a shelf across this way here, no, and then dividers no, in. The we got our top on. We still got to do oh, yeah. a shelf yeah. across here. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> nope. Stop. It's put coming it along. On the back. I know it's made out of pine, but. That's just the way it has to be for right now. But here we are. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, Isaac's found him a hiding place. That's our progress so far. We're going to get the back leveled out, screwed on, get our middle divider in there, and then we top divider. Buy some hooks for this thing. It's done. Yep, well, we got to get our top in. Yeah. So we got two more shelves to get in, and. A lot, a lot of sanding. A lot of sanding. So. We messed up kind of on this. We just didn't want to cut it anymore because it was going to, it would be too much. Well, that's when you have a 10 inch portable craftsman table saw. You can't get the nice square cuts that you want. So. All right. We're doing fine. Six hangers. First piece of furniture. So we'll check back in a minute. Getting the top shelf in. And the shelves inside here, they're gonna have a. Just visualize this with me. See the it's curved. Kinda, it's gonna angle back from this edge to this edge. Four different divisions here. That's cool. Then we got to get the back shelf drilled in. Screws up top. And we will be ready to roll. But we just need to get our screws <clears throat> in. All right, we're back top is done now we got to get the shelves in the bottom and do we stain it do we raise the grain by burning it and then polyurethane in it we ask mom. or we do ask we ask mom what she wants ask mom, yeah. ask mom what she what wants she asked for leopard, colors? leopard colors well that that's kind of like a zebra pattern in there but or what if she asked for um like the colors of our dining room no. no, I'll tell her to paint it herself then. <laughs> so, all right, guys, let's get these last shelves made. We got to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six. We're done. Seven, eight. Six shelves. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. No. Look, you make three shelves. It gives you eight holes. Six shelves gives you eight holes. So, all right, let's get them cut and done. All right. We went from this sketch to this. Thank you, boys. You're Took us a little over seven hours from conception to completion. 
we do have some sanding rough sanding to do we got some fine sanding to do oh yeah but the we have a usable hall seat shoe rack coat rack now up and around these areas here I'm, I think I'm going to do some decorative trim. Maybe put some uh, slats down through here to put hooks on to hang the jackets. Uh, and book but, bags. And book bags, yep. And Dad, if this side is going to be sitting up against the wall, we can put a hook here for something. Yep, we could. All right. But here it is. I mean, seven hours, like I said, but. I will show you the finished product once we're done with the finished product. And look at that either look we're going to... Yeah, a little new addition. The slanted. Yep, alright, let's, let's, let's get that. Let's, well, we're on uneven cardboard. Yes. So. Yeah, look at this slanted stuff. That one is like... Got a nice slanted. radius. Got us a nice 20 inch seat there. So, here it is. Done. So... Let's get it sanded and get it painted. I got sawdust up my nose, everything else, but it's worth it. I hope you enjoy it, sweetie. Merry Christmas. And happy birthday. And, okay, happy birthday, too. All right. We are out. This is Larry Johnson from the Outdoor Office. Smash that subscribe button. Hang in there with us. Y'all be good.